Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you this simple vegan misiam recipe. Let's go to the recipe. This I'm going to use this. I pre-made this sambal. I will put in the description what is exactly over here. So please look at the description for the detail. And this is uh, tamarind paste. And this is the uh, the tauchu salted soya bean. And put this and. Uh, Calamansi is for the this uh, calamansi uh, lima kasuri. This we can use at the end. This is going to be a dry kind of a mesiam, big big vegan uh, uh, method. I'm going to take about uh, about two tablespoon of this uh, tauchu. Just take the uh, tauchu. There's salt in them, so I'm not going to wash it. I'm going to use straight away from here. But some of you might want to wash it. It's up to you. I'm going to just mash it. Don't have to be very smooth, but coarsely just mash it. This uh, tofu I fried uh, in an air fryer. I'm using uh, this kind of uh, bacon, so I use three, three sides of this. I'll put in the description the amount. I soak the bacon in uh, warm water, so it has come to this kind of a texture. I'm going to use this pre-mixed uh, uh, sambal. Uh, I will have the description of how to do this. It's about two tablespoons of it. This sambal has uh, sarai, uh, onion, garlic, chili, and uh, vegetable uh, stock. So make sure your sambal, if you're doing it, you must make sure that the oil breaks. So this is already like, I've already cooked them earlier. You may want to like add to your preference. So I'm going to add in a bit more. All this amount is uh, to how much you have, uh, the quantity of your mesium, it works with it. So make sure your heat is not high. To this, I'm going to add the palm tauchu, about uh, two tablespoons. I'm going to add in about uh, 100 milliliter of water. So don't add salt because the tauchu has salt in them. I'm going to add a little bit of that um, tamarind uh, paste, about half a teaspoon. So the strained mis paste bihun, I'm going to add this. So once it starts to boil, I'm going to add in the bihun. So you don't have to worry if, if let's say you have put in more water, don't have to worry because bihun will absorb. So even if it's like how wet it is, it will get absorbed. It won't get softened like it'll become mushy. It won't become mushy. So you see, you can see there's water here, right? This bihun is already like three quarter co cooked. Okay. You just uh, now you make sure you bring up the heat and uh, make sure the the heat will get cooked. Uh, I forgot to mention now. I'm going to add in a little bit of. You got to add some coconut sugar. I'm going to add about uh, one teaspoon. So 
uh, this sugar and salt is up to your taste. Uh, so please don't add in salt because I'll clear the salt. Taste them first before you add. So as you are doing, I can you can feel the bihun whether it's really good or not. So halfway through now, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna. Okay, I've tasted. There's not enough salt, so I'm gonna add in about a quarter, about half teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add in a bit more coconut sugar. And it's this kind of texture, I'm going to add in the uh, tofu and the chai. This is the end result. You may stop at any time, so uh, you see, when you, as you are stirring, you will know the, once the bihun gets to try a bit, you, can, you may stop. So try, share with your friends, let me know in the comment. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. I shall see you in my next video. Bye.